Guys, today is another revision day for the S3. This is gonna be revision number three that we're gonna be tuning today and logging. So I cannot wait because now Matt has cleared that the car could be pushed like as hard as I want it to be. Um, it's a little bit more timing, a little bit more boost. And basically we're getting to the end of tuning this car probably another revision or two at most to clean everything up but the car is almost exactly where it needs to be to be at its full power potential so i cannot wait for that another thing is we're going to be doing a couple of videos today uh they're going to be in separate sections i'm going to be doing a zero to 60 run in this car as well because now we can push the car pretty hard and i'm also going to be doing a lot of highway pulls in today's video just to give you a perspective of how the car feels um you know back-to-back -back abuse and see how the car does so that's gonna be super fun and another thing guys again you guys do ask me and I said in the last video every part on my car and every tool that I use is down in the description box below click on the link you can order exactly what I use on my car they're really good parts good quality so check that out so let's get into it guys and one more thing I'm gonna have to get e85 because I have about a half a tank I don't feel uh, safe doing pulls under half a tank everybody advises over a full tank to drive the car to its full potential to not have any problems so I'm at a half a tank I'm gonna fill up and I have a couple of gas containers one right there's a little dark and one on the floor right here as well so one two we're gonna be filling those up because I don't have stations really really close to me so let's go do that and then let's go have some fun so like I said in the previous clip guys I'm going to get some corn juice right now it's cold. And since this isn't my daily, what I like to do is I fill up the car and then I fill up my two five gallon containers in the back so that I don't have to make a trip every time I need to fill up because the two nearest E85 stations for me are about like 35 minutes away. So it's not too far, but it is out of the way for me to go there consistently, obviously. And I've been getting like 12 miles per gallon on E85, not even pushing it sometimes. So obviously I'm going to be going to the gas station a lot more frequently now because of the tune. So since I have to go to the gas station more frequently, obviously... Um, I rather just do it this way the car's not my daily so I should be able to last about a month Depending how much I drop the car without having to go back to the gas station and when I do I'll just fill up the car again and then fill out my two containers That's the easiest way so that's out of the way now What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna give you guys two different camera angles There's the one in front of you uh, right now which you're watching which is me face front um, it's on my windshield so that's one of my gopros and then the second one is right behind me right here so it gives a whole shot coming out the front of the car so you can see what i'm seeing in real time kind of like a pov so those are the two angles you're going to be getting so i'm not going to be overlaying the clips like i did in the last video i'm going to make each one its own separate clip just so you can see my reaction by itself and then you're able to see um everything coming in front of you so that's the way i want to do it i think that'll be cool just to give you guys two different perspectives so let's go fill up the car and then let's go log and see what this car can do uh being that it's almost finished tuning all right guys so we're all full of e85 now i have my two gas containers all filled up so that was good and uh, the price of e85 is pretty cheap honestly compared to everything else so that's a good thing i mean it does run through faster but it is cheaper so i don't know I don't really know. I just, I'm happy at the pump when I pay for it because, you know, all of this was like $50, so that's not bad at all. But now we're heading to Mexico so that we can start doing our logs and pulls. I cannot wait to see what this car is going to feel like at like, you know, full boost, full power, pretty much. I'm super excited. So we're on our way to Mexico. We're going to see how the car is. And uh, again, you guys are going to see my first reactions to this. So let's get going, see what this car could do. All right, guys. So this is going to be the first pull. Let's see how it goes. Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. So this is gonna be the first pull. Let's see how it goes. Hit it. I wish uh, 
I know video never does like speed justice and all that stuff, but I, I mean, this is like, oh my God, just like the pressure, like, oh my God, oh my God, that, wow. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm speechless. <sighs> wow, like, kind of makes your stomach hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, like, just like all like the force, it really makes your stomach feel weird. Uh, that was, let me check. That was 34.1 pounds of boost. So I think we're gonna be capping off around 35 pounds. So that was just barely over 34 pounds. So, oh man. Wow, I don't even know what else to say. That was, again, it's, I don't even know what else to say. I really don't. I really don't because another revision or two, a little more timing, a little more boost to get us around that like 35 pound mark and you know, that's, that's where it's going to be at. And, um, it's, again, it's mind boggling how quick this car is. Um, I, I mean, it literally, it like sucks me into the seat. It, it, uh, I can't really fathom. I can't fathom. I, I didn't, I knew obviously going a hybrid setup with fully 85, all the fueling mods, everything was going to make this car ridiculous, but I didn't expect this. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I set my expectation a little low, which is why um, I felt that way, so I wouldn't be disappointed if the car wasn't as fast as I thought it was going to be, but I guess I'm glad I set the bar a little low, because now the car is blowing me out of the water with how quick it is, so I'm happy that I did that, but guys, this, uh, oh man, that's, ah, uh. so I'm on my way to my second location, guys, uh, in Mexico, so that I can do my couple of zero to 60 hits on the car, uh, to see how fast it is, um, again, just for a little reference, and I'll mention this in the video as well when I start to film it, uh, it is 43 degrees outside, so it's pretty cold, and I'm on my Kumo um, Xta PS31 tires that they're okay, but again, you know, they're not the best in the cold. I don't know how the car's going to hook. I'm just curious to see how good this car is from, uh, from 0 to 60 because a lot of people have been asking me, like, how fast it is, and I believe my fastest 0 to 60, I don't remember, um, a... I did a video like a year or two ago where the car did like a four something that was obviously on a different tune and whatnot and then on the track I was able to manage with my draggy like a 3.8 or 3.7 something like that so but that's on a prep surface where the car's gonna hook a little better so I don't know I have my draggy with me right now a lot of people have been telling me to get a draggy guys I have one it's just I don't live in an area where I could use it constantly it's just for like special occasion when I want to do certain things for a video is when I use it so I can't just pop it up every time and go do quarter mile hits every single day because I just don't have neither the time or I don't live in an area where I could do that, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I do have a draggy. I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be going to another location where I'm going to have a little more freedom to be able to do some zero to 60 hits without, you know, any issue. So we're going to do that. And then, yeah, we'll see how fast the car is from zero to 60. That's going to be fun. But anyways, let me get back to the other part of the video, guys. This thing rips. Um, it feels so good. It feels so good how fast the car is. And honestly... I don't even know what to say. I don't have much to say because um, I wasn't expecting this. This car is a beast. Um, if you ask me, absolutely go out and go with the hybrid setup, do fully 85. The difference, see, my thing is this. My finished 93 tune compared to like my base map on E85, I swear is like the same power level. Like it's crazy the difference that E85 makes on the car. Plus it's safer, less, uh, you know, it's less knock resistant. So you're not gonna like hit any kind of knock. Anytime you have knock on pump gas, like regular octane 91, 93, whatever, uh, tuners always recommend to throw a gallon or two of E85 to mitigate that. So E85 is very knock resistant. You're not gonna really get any knock unless you have a serious issue with the car, maybe with plugs, coils, a fuel injector. But besides any like hardware issue like that, you won't have any other issue with knock when you're running E85. That's number one. Number two, again, this is revision number three on my E85 tune. Uh, Matt even told me from the start with how good the car was logging that probably four to five revisions. My next one's probably gonna be uh, my final one or the fifth one that I get if I do get one would probably just be a couple little touch-ups So we're probably gonna run the car up like I said to about 35 pounds of boost um, With a little more timing here and there so the car is almost finished the car will be a little bit faster It will be a little bit faster. That was 34 pounds of boost like I said before in the video. So that's a lot. That's a lot um, and um, 
we're probably going to be creeping up to 35 somewhere. I would say somewhere between 35 and 36 is going to be where the car's going to stay at. So I'm assuming another maybe like 20 to 30 horsepower, probably another degree or two of timing to see how the car takes it. Um, and as long as that's it, probably from here on out, my fourth revision is going to be my last one. And then the fifth one might be a little bit of touch up, maybe some fueling stuff. So that's what to be expected. But yeah, guys, so like I said, I'm on my way to my second location. I'm blown away with how fast the car is. I really can't fathom the car still getting a little more out of tuning. So that's incredible. And we're going to be definitely dynoing the car um, ASAP. So once my tune is done within the next week or two, I'm going to be trying to find a shop where I can schedule an appointment on the dyno so I could get a couple of hits on the dyno and a shop that's able to um, allow me to film and, you know, interact with them because I want to get a video out of it. Obviously, I don't want to go to the dyno and take like crappy videos with like my phone or something like that and then post it up after. I want to be able to like go in there, have my camera, um, be able to, you know, like show what, how, what power the car is making in real time. So if you are in New Jersey, in the North Jersey area, I'm willing to travel a little bit if, you know, maybe PA, New York. If you work for a shop that has a dyno that works on Euro cars or you're the owner of a shop and you're watching my videos, uh, hit me up please on my business email that is um, in my bio of my YouTube or hit me up on Instagram, send me a DM because I really do want to interact when I go to do my dyno video. I want it to be a good video that people can see everything in real time and not just a pull or two and then me explaining what happened after. I want to make a good video out of it. So if you would allow me to film at your shop, if you have one or work for one and they'd allow me to film, I'd really appreciate that. Hit me up, like I said, either in my uh, business email, in my YouTube bio, or just hit me up on Instagram, send me a DM and we'll try to coordinate stuff so that I can come down and do some pulls on the dyno. Obviously, I'll pay your dyno rates, you know, but just want to be able to make a video out of it. So that's going to conclude the video, guys. This car rips. Uh, revision 3 is amazing. I'm going to be getting my fourth revision probably sometime this coming week. And then probably a finishing one. Then we're going to hit the dyno and I cannot wait for that. Also, one thing I needed to touch on as well. I know a lot of people have been asking. I'm um, going to the track, to the drag strip. Haven't been able to go. And the reason why is the last four track days that we had in my state were all rained out. And unfortunately, the year is over now. So I wasn't able to make it out. And it's super annoying because literally every weekend for the past like three has rained. They even rescheduled one. They even added one more that was supposed to happen yesterday and it rained the entire day. And instead of rescheduling because it's getting cold outside, they just decided to shut down the track. And I understand that it was 58 degrees yesterday. It would have been perfect today. Super nice day, but it's literally 42, 43 degrees. It is pretty cold to race in that temp. So unfortunately I wasn't able to make it out. So the plan is going to be guys is in March when tracks open up again, I'm going to be going out and doing that. So I apologize. It sucks. I know, but it is what it is. But anyways, guys, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to finish up this video. We're going to be going to do some draggy runs to see what the car can do. Zero to 60. Can't wait for that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is happening literally right now. Take care.